What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name's Greg. Uh, what I'm doing for you guys today is the seven reasons you need to sign up for Survey Junkie. You guys have been asking a ton of questions about this site and what they do, and it's you know not super rideshare related, so I think that's been the biggest question of all, but if you already watched one of the videos, you know my story with it. I used to actually do it while I was driving, so I think it's a great little website to have, especially in times like this. Great little service to do and make some extra money, right? So uh, that being said, if you wanna get started on it, uh, check out our link in the description, and you can use it to get started right away and make some money. Awesome. So the first reason is it's the, one of the perfect ways to make money right now. What's the reality of right now? We're all trapped at home. We're bored. I've really been struggling with like the constant guilt of like, okay, I need to be doing more. I need to be doing more. I need to be more proactive. But a lot of times I just can't be doing more. I'm exhausting everything I, I do outside of Uber and Lyft. And, uh, you know, it sometimes just makes me feel so non-productive that I don't feel good about myself. So I like having something like this because rather than just playing a game on my phone while I'm, you know, binge watching Netflix, I can be doing something like this and just saving up for gift cards or whatever it is. And it's, I don't know, it, it's kind of like, it gets exciting with each, each little survey you do. And as you build the points, for me, it was kind of like, it gives me a little thing to be, be a little more motivated about each week, right? Not that that makes me feel super good about myself either, but <laughs> got to fill out surveys to feel productive, but it's just the times we're in. Um, but the other reason, uh, reason number two is it's, it's free. You don't got to pay to sign up, especially if you use our code. Boom. Um, um, but there's no expenses to run it. You're not paying a monthly recurring fee. Obviously, it's not like driving where you got to pay gas and all the expenses. I mean, this is like at the most using data if you're not on Wi-Fi, right? And that's, you know, whatever. I doubt it's even significant enough data usage to make a dent in your Verizon or Sprint bill. Um, you don't get taxed in the income if it's under 600 bucks. So, you know, you could just do this for now, save up, cash out those points once you get like $599, and then guess what? You're not paying taxes on any of it. So. Uh, good little miscellaneous income where you get to keep everything again in the current times. <laughs> um, the next reason is this is like the easiest, most legit way to make money on the internet. Um, as far as like no startup costs, not paying for like trainings or I mean, not that you need to for something like this, but my point being that there's all these sites all across the internet that promise you make easy money doing something as simple as filling out a survey something is completing addresses, calling phone numbers, doing all these random things, and most of them are all scams. You know, and I said in the last video, it's like when you go and look in the Craigslist miscellaneous forums, most of the stuff in there is all this real scammy work that seems too good to be true. This is the one website that's legitimate. I've experimented with so many of these sites and most of them have ended in me losing money or getting on a bunch of spam sites where then I've got like 90 emails a day from all these different companies, right? A lot of it is just uh, lead capturing mechanisms through screwy, wiry ads through a service. And once they get you filling out your email to sign up, then they got you roped in. And so a lot of these things you never end up making any money from, but I've actually made money from these. I've actually cashed out on these. I've used them for PayPal points. I've used them for, um, for PayPal money and I've used them for gift cards and stuff. So it does work. Most of these things don't work. And, you know, again, for times like this, this is just a stupid, easy way to just be a little bit more productive with our days, right? <laughs> um, next reason, you get a sign-up bonus if you use our link. Uh, that's always nice. So you're going to get some points to start up with. And the cool thing, too, once it's not just... Uh, from our signup bonus that you'll get points. You get points for confirming your email, setting up your profile. So uh, along with using our signup code, you can also, just from doing all these basic little actions to get your profile set up, you'll get a nice little chunk of points to start out with. And it's kind of like uh, when I'm driving, it's like I always hate making that first 50 bucks, right? Everything else seems like after that it seems to flow a lot better. But that first like two or three hours, I'm just trying to clear like 50 to 75 bucks, hopefully. 
And it always seems like such a drag. And if you guys watched my videos from way, 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 way back, I would always talk about how I'd love doing an airport destination ride as my first trip because I, then I would get one on the way out. And in my first hour, I would sometimes already have made 50 or 60 bucks. It's kind of that same thing. Like I hate making that initial chunk. So that's the cool thing with this. You're gonna sign up and just for being there, just for using our promotion code, you're gonna have a nice little chunk already saved up. Um, but one of the last reasons is you can just learn a lot about yourself and a lot of your um, consuming habits and the things you do just by doing these. Uh, these surveys, a lot of them go really in depth about your spending choices and they're like identifying you and breaking you down so that they can throw you in this side or, or study of people that makes these purchasing decisions based on these behavior traits. So it can get pretty interesting. Um, some of the questions too, uh, it goes way beyond just, have you used this product? Do you like it? Like there's like reasoning and it's, you know, if you really can get into the psychology of decision-making, it might actually be a pretty interesting thing to look into. Uh, lastly, you only have to be 16 years or older to use it. And yeah, so Get started on it, go use our link, get those initial points built up, fill out some surveys, then like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see what else I got for you. <laughs> Alrighty, see you later guys.